guess I came to it quite late. Astrophysics wasn't really something I paid much attention to when I was at high school. I was certainly interested in physics, I was certainly interested in music, I certainly loved math, so I think I had a little bit of a leaning towards scientific things. Um, but astrophysics itself, I didn't really come to regard as fascinating until I was about 21, oh. the final year of my university degree, when I had to make a bit of a decision about what to do next. And I suddenly realised that astrophysics encompassed a lot of the courses that I'd enjoyed in my degree course, for example, relativity, plasma physics, electrodynamics, all that kind of good stuff. So that's really when the uh, changing tack came about. So it, at school you weren't really exposed to it or it just didn't interest you? I wasn't really exposed to it at school. Yeah. And where did you go to university? To Cambridge. Cambridge okay. So you got a quite a broad natural science education. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, again, I didn't really do any courses in astronomy or in astrophysics. In my first year, I did chemistry, I did crystalline materials, and then it was only the later years when I did formal courses in relativity and plasma physics, and I realised they were awfully good fun. And it was only later still when I had to make a choice about what to do beyond uh, my first degree that I thought, gosh, astrophysics really does encompass the things that I enjoy most about. And so what did you do your PhD on? I did my PhD on a type of galaxy that we call an active galaxy. Okay. Um, so these are galaxies that contain a black hole at their very centre. Um, they're very strong gravitational attractors. They pull a lot of matter towards them from all the gas that's swirling around in the galaxy. And it turns out that they also squirt out along uh, the poles of the, the axis of rotation of the black hole. They spew out plasma that itself is moving at speeds comparable with the speed of light. Oh wow. So um, that got me interested in this general sort of area, that PhD. And yeah, and that's what got you, and your PhD you worked on one particular galaxy. Uh, no, a bunch of them, a, bunch of but them, okay. a particular type of type galaxy. Of galaxy yeah. Yeah. And these are, how many galaxies are there? Oh, ever so many, and okay. uncountable. I mean, you know, oh, um, hundreds of thousands of millions. I mean, yeah. we can account for them in those numbers. Yeah. Um, those that are studied in fine detail, that number is obviously a lot smaller, mm -hmm. but it, it's true to say that um, there's a lot more out there than we see with our eyes, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And the particular type of galaxy that I've described for my PhD, I was looking at their manifestation at radio wavelengths. Okay. <coughs> and that's something that was at Cambridge has a long history of looking at radio. It absolutely does. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. that was a great place to work. Very much so. And when you when you started your PhD, did you think you'd go on as an academic? Um, not necessarily. I didn't have fixed ideas about that. I was very much enjoying it for the moment and enjoying the sense of understanding more. And I think that's what drove what I was doing. I like finding things out. I like solving problems. I like learning new things. And at what point did you think, hmm, maybe somebody will pay me money to do this? Um, I didn't really think of it in financial terms. I more thought of it in terms of what should I be, what's the best use of me? Okay. What should I do with the, uh, with the talents that I have? When I was a kid, the, the parable of the talents uh, was something that made a great impression on me. The idea that we should, we should do what we can with, with what we have. Um, so if we're good at maths or we're good at engineering or whatever, we should we should be good at doing those things. Yeah. So this is a kind of part of your Christian background helped influence you to go on in science, it sounds like. That really steered the general principles of the decision, yeah. I suppose, yeah. but the it would be wrong to give the impression that it was anything other than good fun and the satisfaction of discovery and problem solving yeah. that was driving the right. detailed decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.